Hello guys, Granny Gamer here. Hey, you're doing really well, I hope, and I am back on Stoneblock. Surprise, surprise. I think that is all I have actually been playing lately because <laughs> it's so cool. Right, okay. Now, I did find out something from this library. Probably everybody already knows. But apparently, can you, I thought you could, yeah. Look, you can pick out the trees Apparently I can't do nothing with it now. From these. I didn't know that. There's two there. I thought there was another one somewhere as well. But yeah, anyway, you can. You can grab the trees from there. Don't know if you can plant them or whatever, but yeah. I found it out. Ha ha. Don't think there's anything else in here. Apart from trying to remember which quest I'm on. It said something about automating a mob farm, didn't it? So let me check the quest. Wooden spikes, also the mob conveyor will work well for this too. Advanced recipes, volume two. Okay, so let's go and have a look in advanced recipes, volume two. Watering can, cobblestone drill, bonsai plant. Is that the right one? It did say Advanced Recipes Volume 2, did not know. Don't forget to look at Advanced Recipes Volume 2 for help. Hmm. Watering can, drill, cobblestone, generator, bonsai plot, pot, and stone golem. Okay. Let's have a look here. Sieve, mesh, diamond, brick, wooden, wooden. Aha! I think they meant volume one. Wooden spikes is planks and sticks. Righto then. That's easy enough. I've taken these down, by the way, my bonsai plants, because, I don't know, they're just floating everywhere. And I keep having to bring them down like these. Every time I log in, these are all sort of, like, popped over everywhere. So I'm going to figure out a better way of doing them so they don't float everywhere. It's getting a bit tedious. Um, wood. Um, I'll grab you. I'm going to grab you. I do have a few more sticks in there. Aha. Look at that. Can I just place them down? Oh, I can. Ho, ho. Those mobs won't know what hit them. For the next challenge, you'll need to be advent venturing out and doing some baking. Let's make the mining cake. Ah. Oh. Well, I've already made the mining cake. Now take a slice. So we're going to have to go into the actual mining area. Okay, we didn't. Okay, fine. We'll go in there. Challenge. Now you here. Let's try to find some amethyst. Oh, okay. So challenge 20. Oh, oh look at that. Hi. Actually, I'll do it with that one. Oh, no, which one? Oh, that one. Right, okay, then I've done that. Now you have some amethyst, you can make the token transfer move. Just look at the recipe for the crafting table for more house. Well, I've already done that, so hopefully I can shift this back up and put it back down. Right, I'm just going to take a quick break here. And... I'll call you up back in a minute. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to take that phone call. Couldn't not do it. Right, so, what? where were we? <laughs> now I've got to get some token transformation table. Well, I've already made this. I had to, to get the cow. So if I pick it up, let's take you out of my hand. Can I pick it up? Oh, can I mine it up? I can. I can mine it with silk touch. Cool, so if I place it down again, 
hopefully I won't have to make another one. Oh. Looks like I'll have to make another one. Which just a pain. Oh, now I've changed it around in there again, didn't I? Which one was it? They're in here somewhere. I think it was just two, wasn't it? Uh, we'll do that. Redstone one. Where for are you, Mr. Table? Um, there it is. So saw camp fire, weighted pressure, and I've got the rest of that still, thank goodness. There is that. Okay, um, I need a weighted pressure plate. Where's the gold? There it is. Oh. Thank you. Make one of them. And a salt campfire, wasn't it? Right, okay. So the salt campfire needs what? Soul sand, three sticks, and four of them. Soul sand, I've got the sticks, and I just need the logs. One, two, three. Make one of them, and some crying obsidian. Right, that should be enough to make it. Thank you. And now I can put it away. <laughs> Oh, actually, I might just leave it here. There you go. You can go on there. <laughs> that looks quite nice, actually. Right, what was that quest? Now you have all the tools and skills needed to defeat the Ender Dragon. Ooh, time to get the Dragon Egg, really? You can purchase the End Portal location from the Wandering Miner. Right. So I gather that's the end of the um, tutorial. Wow. That was a long tutorial. So now we just get to play... And update and upgrade and make this even better than what it is. So, I need to work out these conveyor belts because I've not done that yet. Because I want to place these down and get the conveyor belts working. So I can kind of automate the um, workings to a certain extent. I think that would be quite good. Yeah, so I think so. Plus, I need to make more cakes. And I kind of want to make a bit of a cake room and I want more animals as well. Oh, that's done. I don't need bamboo anymore, I don't think. So that can come down. Oh, ouch, thank you. Let's get rid of all you. You. I do like bamboo, I must admit. I think they did a wonderful job with that. Wonderful job. Right, so we grab you and pop you up there. Everything's getting quite full up at the minute. So we're doing okay for like stuff and things, inventory and stuff. Let's put this away. So, I suppose my next thing that I need to make is the... Um, oh, actually, I've got one more thing to show you. Um, it's there, isn't it? I've got one more thing to show you. You know when you um, sieve gravel, especially... Oh, damn it. <laughs> especially the... 
compressed gravel, you get loads and loads and loads and loads of flint. Do not, I want that, I want to read that to a minute. Oh, and I've got the guide cakes as well. We'll read that together in a minute. Do not despair. There is a use for them. Do not chuck them out. Keep all of them. Because you can put them in here and you get loads of coins. See? And then those coins, these ones here, can turn into those coins. And you can carry on doing it and you end up getting like... It really, really, really helps with getting your epic coinage up and running, which is how I managed to get the um, cow. So, yeah, don't despair. So, we can have that. Actually, I can make more of them, can't I? More of them. Try that again. Thank you. They can go there. They can go there. See, I've got 25 of them. And now I can turn them into two of them. Put that back. And I have two more of them. And I've nearly got enough for the epic coin. Now, the epic coin, because I, I mucked up my recording of it so you didn't actually see me get this if you get the epic coin it gives you all the spawn eggs and elytra and redstone and it gives you the wandering miner so that's how you can grab your wandering miner as well if you haven't found the one that's in the secret anyway but yeah it gives you all the eggs you could ever want to be honest and I do want some beets, but I don't want them right now. So that's going to go back there. Um, and there is a few more to get. Well, let's have a read of this book, shall we? Everything you need to know about the transfusion table. The token transfusion table is used for tokens. This is a great way to get some extra unique items in exchange for tokens. There are nine token types to collect, ranging from handmade to the almighty dragon token. The token transfusion table can also exchange a variety of items which will be converted into tokens. See, that's quite good. To spend the tokens collected, simply place them in the token transformation table to exchange them for an item. The higher the rarity of the token, the better the item choice will be. You can also craft the rarer tokens in the crafting table. Yeah, just done that. Just place any of that. Yeah, that page we already know. This is the stage where you really want to start to think about about what farms to create. Try experimenting with different items in the token transfusion table. Maybe you get lucky, find an item that will be worth more in tokens. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's interesting. Actually, that's I'll read this as well. Oh, there was another one, wasn't there? Guide to Cakes. Your guide to baking cakes. There are a total of eight cakes that can be crafted. These cakes are very unique, as when you eat a slice, you'll get transported to a brand new zone. These zones are great places to obtain some valuable resources. Not only do these new zones have valuable resources, they are also new biomes which are rich in certain ore types. Whoa. You can find out what the zone is rich in by using the compass. That's a good idea. These new zones work extremely well with the drills, so I need to get more drills. All of the cakes can be crafted in the crafting table and are made somewhat the same as a traditional cake. The only one that's got a problem at the moment is the copper one. I know that, that can't be crafted. Each cake has a total of four slices. To leave the zone, simply walk through the black portal. Yeah, well, we already knew some of that anyway. Um, let's try these. Right, so that works. That works. What else can we try? Let's put these away. Let's 
Is that it? Yep. What else have we got? Try cactus, try sugar cane, try bamboo. Ooh. Try string or try bones. We'll try some leather wool, although I'm not going to take it all. Rotten flesh. What else? We'll try some bat meat and try some eggs. See what are these ones are doing. So I suppose this is just what you've got to do now. Is you've just got to experiment, really. Right, so string works. Bones work. Sugar cane doesn't. Cactus doesn't. Rotten flesh does, but I, don't, I want that more for... Like, leather wart does. Bamboo does. Eggs does. Meat doesn't. And I know cobblestone does look. Okay, what about potatoes? Yep, potatoes as well. So you can get quite a few of these tokens then, quite quickly. It seems to be things that mobs drop. Oh, I've still got some. Rather than what you grow apart from the crops, the crops will work. I wonder if the vines will work. I wonder if this will work. <gasps> what about mushrooms? Oh, that's sea pickles. Oh gosh, I'm going to be here for ages now, aren't I? Experimenting with it all. Right, that's not. That's not. Oh yeah, mushrooms do. You can use mushrooms. Oh no, you don't go there, do you? want you there oh what about these let's try some nether rack and some fire charge some magma creams magma block soul sand and soul soil All right never rack oh never rack gives you common Okay, fire charge, nope. Magna creams, nope. Magna blocks, common, nope. And salt sand, nope. Well, so if you have never rack, oh, I should just put these back, and you can get the common ones. Ooh, that's quite good. I know that apples give you some as well okay so oh I wonder if they will let's have a look at them because never wax so easy to get as well you know what I mean them out let's see what I can get <gasps> seven so I've got 13 of them now so I can get another rare one so let's grab all these sixty four so then that's twelve of them You can go there, you can go there, and you can go there. Wow, that's really cool. Can you get with where? Do I need anything here? Cool block, obsidian, in case I need another obsidian. Oh, I can get them without adding to make them. Oh, that's what I want, some shulker shells. So I can make some um, shulker boxes. That would be brilliant actually 
What one was that? Was that rare? How many of these do I need? So I get four. And how do I do that? Is there a recipe? No. So maybe... Nope. Nope. Ooh. Maybe I need nine of them. What's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Nope. Nope. Ooh, okay. Well, how do you make the shulker? Oh, <gasps> I need an auto shout and then I can make it. Right, what time is it? I've got time. I'm going to do that now. Um, um, yeah. oh, yeah, mm hmm. Can I buy a Nautilus shell? Not with that one, I can't. Can I buy it with that one? Can I buy it with that one? Yes. I'll buy that. And I need two of them, don't I? Yeah, I need two of them, so I need another. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have enough of them. Five. Oh, I've got two of them, haven't I? Oh, I need another three. Oh, oh, we're so close. Mind you, I've got them now. Oh, I might have enough. Grab them as well. Ooh, not quite enough of them. Ooh, actually, we haven't tried this yet. Let's try this one. No, that don't work. Oh, I wonder if the actual broken one will work. I wonder if that'll work. I'm trying it all now. I just, yeah, everything's going in here. Oh, yep, yeah. that'll get me some. So, this can go there, fortune. Okay, this is what I'm going to do then. To be fair, this is how I repair my tools on Java. It saves it all up so I can do it all at once. <laughs> right, so let's have a look, see what this gives me. Seventeen. That gives me three. Is that going to be enough? Yes, I got a shulker box. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. Woohoo! That is going to be so handy for building and collecting materials. I've got two of them now. Right, so that's going there. Let's put you there. I've got law three on it. Um, I take my mining hats. Well, they can just go there for a minute. I've gotten that. Do I need a bow or I might need a platform actually, like a little jetty. So I take them. And I take them. And have I got? Yep, I got them. 
Um, so we go into the mining place. Because I know that there's water in here. I have been here and cleared out quite a bit of it. I went quite far up there, as you can see. Now, which part of the water did I clear out? Was it this side? No, maybe it was over here. Because I did clear out quite a bit of a water side. Was it here? It was here, wasn't it? I can't get down there very well. Hmm, where was it? Was it over there? Hey, go off. I was over that one point, wasn't I? No, I didn't clear that side off because it's still got lots of ores in the walls. It was over there, look, because there's not a lot of ores in that wall. So it must have been here. Right, so let's put a marker here if I can. There. Might make that a bit safer. Put another one there. Okay. Any more? Don't want to be like got at. That's the only thing. Right, okay. Let's go in here then. Let's grab that. And go out from there. That means it's bottom slab so that it won't get spawned on. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Too close. Like that. Like that. Right, hopefully nothing her go come behind me. That's the only thing I've got to do. And I don't want anything jumping down on me. <laughs> so, so scary. Oh, see what I mean? See what I mean? Can I put one on there? No. Oh, hi. Right, okay. So let's start fishing. Let's see what happens. I hope, to, and I hope that I just don't get blown up. If I fish that way, I can look, can't I? So I can fish. That's good. Don't know what it's going to give me. Right. I think I'll fish here for a bit and I'll bring you back to see what I can find. Okay. It's just giving us normal stuff, really. And to be quite fair, I'm going to be doing enough fishing on the um, ice block one. So I'm going to give this one a bit of a miss for the time being, unless I absolutely really need it. So... Let's put our hat on so we can actually see how lovely this place is. Look at it. Wow. Guys, you really need a mining hat. Not going to lie. You absolutely do need a mining hat because it is gorgeous in here. Right, next episode, I'm going to be making the iron cake. And we'll see what that gives us. But I'm going to be making some drills. Well, I've got a drill I can take with us and have a look. I took the drill away from here because it wasn't really giving us that much. So yeah. Oh, no, oh no. And I'm going to try and remember to take the compass with me as well. <laughs> I just 
can't help but just carry on looking. It is just so amazing. So amazing. Right, guys. If you like this episode, please hit the thumbs up with my wonky hat. If you're new, subscribe for more fun with Granny. Always try to be nice, but never fail to be kind. And I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.